Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Visual Intelligence. Today I'll be bringing you some really nice CSS tutorial tip. Uh, it's going to be really quick, and uh, today we'll be doing uh, this kind of button effect. So with the transition and everything. So I think it does look nice. So I want to share it with you guys. So um, what I have here is an index.html file uh, linked to a style sheet. Uh, which is style.css so uh, and I have some div with a class a class of box uh, that says hello world let's change it to button for the sake of this tutorial and uh, yeah by the way I'm using brackets uh, which uh, updates automatically with with the uh, uh, with the changement of the uh, uh, HTML or the CSS or whatever. Yeah, it's really nice. Make sure to uh, download that. It's for free. It's uh, actually preferred than sub sublime text or other paid um, text editors. So make sure to give that a try. So yeah. So uh, let's actually go into the styles and delete all that, except for uh, let's actually delete everything. So what we have now is the uh, this button right here, which is a um, some div, really uh, really basic stuff. So it's actually um, I change the font on the whole body, so body and font family font. Let's make it uh, sans serif this will make it a little better so let's um, change the box settings or styles yeah so uh, we want the width of uh, 200 pixels yeah as you can see uh, it's highlighting the width but it really doesn't style it just highlighting it uh, I mean brackets does all that so yeah we want uh, some um, background color maybe E3, E3, E3 uh, and this makes it uh, already slight um, grey color already a white grey color so um, and uh, let's decrease the uh, line height to something like 50 pixels Let's align the text in the middle, text align, and then choose middle or center. Um, we want the text weight to be, I mean font weight, sorry, font to weight to be um, bold, and the uh, color, color we want some dark gray color and that looks uh, really awesome already uh, we also want some border radius so border radius of like 5 pixels 8 pixels and that looks uh, really awesome uh, we want some box shadow zero pixels and zero pixels for the uh, for the offset of the shadow the uh, X offset and the Y offset and then two pixels for the um, X pixels for um, uh, if you if you are familiar with Photoshop it's just the uh, the blurriness or the size of the shadow so yeah so two pixels looks good let's give it in color RGBA and uh, RGBA is actually um, have the alpha channel so 0 0 0 this is actually the uh, black color and then we can add the alpha channel which is like 0.5 and the you can see the uh, difference here uh, you can see the difference 
so it was really black and now it's <coughs> it's slightly uh, better so yeah let's keep it default zoom so the next thing to do is we're gonna go and add some we want one pixel for the x and y uh, offset and then we want to like five pixels for the the size and we want in RG RGBA color of of like um zero 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 and then point three looks uh, really nice. So that's basically it. Uh, but you can see we don't have the hover state and and uh, all that so let's add that by uh, writing up some hover code so just uh, that box to bring the um, box class and then uh, and then the column and then add some text hover we want we want some to change some stuff when we hover over the button so yeah Let's give that a uh, background color of three, three, three. I'll just change uh, switching between the background color and the text color, and then another color to of e three, e three, e three, and then save that. Let's hover over it, and you can see that it really changes but we, we want it to be animated so uh, how the way we're going to do that is going to um, our box um, class stuff and then let's do webkit and then transition and we want all uh, all means that we want to turn transition for every element uh, I mean the text the uh, background color everything and we want to do that in 0.5 seconds so yeah and if we hover over it you can see that it changes and you can always change the um, the, uh, the time of the transition so it's looking uh, really awesome so one one thing to add is um, let's add a cursor pointer and this makes it uh, look like a button since we're getting the pointer instead of the uh, regular stuff so that's basically it I hope you guys learned something new in this tutorial um, uh, this is actually my first coding tutorial if you like it if you find it useful make sure to um, make sure to give um, give feedback and then if you want more of that I will be doing that uh, like regularly uh, so yeah I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you guys learned something new on CSS3 and uh, this is all CSS3 stuff so um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, peace